Hi there, Chuck Parson here. Are you or someone you care about planning to go to college? Have you considered starting out in a community college? Well, consider it. Four-year colleges are expensive, and less than half of high school graduates are admitted to them every year. Besides, after two years in the community college, you could transfer to a four-year college and have your degree for considerably less. But there's a secret behind why community colleges are so much less expensive. The truth is, they keep costs down by relying on part-time, poorly paid teachers. And the problem with that is that it affects the quality of education negatively in a big way. First, how many members of the faculty work part-time? Three out of every four. These teachers look exactly the same. They have exactly the same qualifications. What's the difference between them? It's in how much these instructors are paid. A full-timer is paid triple what an instructor is paid for teaching exactly the same course. 7,000, 2,500. Here's what an instructor is paid compared to other personnel at Colorado's community colleges. Based on a 40-hour work week, the Colorado Community College System president makes $406,000 per year plus benefits. The average college president, and there are 13 of them, makes $200,000 per year plus benefits. A full-time faculty member makes $69,000 including benefits. An instructor working 40 hours per week through the spring, summer, and fall semesters makes $21,458 with no benefits. Here, by the way, is the poverty line. And why is it bad for education when teachers are so poorly paid? These teachers are all dedicated professionals with graduate degrees Publications, teaching experience, galore. They do their best, but poverty level wages prevent them from delivering the best education they could possibly provide. Here are the four reasons why. Reason number one, because they are paid poverty level wages, teachers must have other sources of income. 61% of Colorado community college instructors have second third, and maybe even fourth jobs. This means that many have to rush off after class to their next job. No time to linger with students and provide a little extra help or advice. Reason number two, there is more to teaching than delivering lectures. Good teaching requires thought and preparation. Grading papers, supplying thoughtful comments on student papers, attending conferences, and seizing professional development opportunities in order to stay current in one's field of expertise. Good teachers incorporate current events into their lesson plans. This is what 75% of good teaching looks like. Instructors who are working three or four jobs face monumental challenges just in finding adequate time to think and plan. Reason number three, studies have repeatedly shown that community college students who are taught by instructors who are adequately paid result in higher student success, higher grade point averages, and higher graduation rates after they've transferred to four-year colleges, which in turn results in greater success in finding employment as compared to students who are taught by overworked, underpaid teachers. Reason number four, Colorado's community college instructors are so poorly paid, many of them qualify for food stamps, Medicaid, housing assistance. Many of them shop at food banks. They go to work sick because when they don't show up, their pay is docked. Already working under the poverty line, they can't afford to lose a day's pay. What message does this send to students? Some. Colorado community college administrators and Colorado legislators have said if they can't afford to teach, they should get out of teaching. 
Well, they do get out of teaching in droves. The problem is better teachers are more experienced teachers. Their replacements are novices. And once these new teachers have gained experience, they realize that they can no longer afford to teach. So they, too, get out of teaching. It's constant turnover. It's cheaper for the college. But is that really what we want for our college students in Colorado? Constant instructor turnover? Wouldn't we rather pay them a living wage so that we can retain good, experienced instructors? If you want to protest what can only be described as a fraud on the public, which enriches a very few at the expense of low income, first generation minority and underrepresented students and their parents, contact your state representative and senators. Tell them to require Colorado community colleges to pay teachers at least a living wage. And tell your family, friends, and colleagues to do the same. Meanwhile, consider this. Can the community college system afford to pay teachers a living wage? Stay tuned, and you'll learn more of the Colorado community college system's dirty secrets. This video, in support of Colorado Community College System adjunct faculty, was brought to you by the American Association of University Professors.